Matt, is this a surprise? Uh, not a huge surprise, Taylor. I think we've been kind of, you know, waiting for and expecting this conversation to, to start in the next couple months here. Um, so, yeah, like you pointed out, the, the most interesting line in the minutes was that, you know, potentially at some point in upcom upcoming meetings, it might be appropriate to begin starting to talk about tapering. Um, and so, you know, that's uh, kind of contingent upon this idea that, you know, if the economy continued to make rap rapid progress toward their goals, eventually you would have to start having that conversation. But of course, since this meeting, we've gotten, um, you know, somewhat weaker than expected uh, reports on employment and then hotter than expected report on inflation. Um, so, you know, that's probably going to kind of muddy the picture for them a little bit here going yeah. forward over the next couple months. So a little bit earlier we heard from Raphael Bostic. Mike McKee uh, interviewed him for a Bloomberg Business Week event, and he made it, made, made it clear that we're, quote, not right there now. He talked about the idea that we still have about 8 million jobs that we have to fill here. Is the sentiment being reflected by uh, Raphael Bostic? Is that sort of the sentiment that we're hearing from all of the voting members right now? Yeah, and if you read these minutes, there's still widespread unanimity on the you know, fact that it's going to be some time before they actually start tapering in their view. There's widespread unanimity on the idea that um, the, the economy is still very far from their goals. And really, when you listen to the public comments of people like Bostic and others, they really are sticking to this script. You know, this uh, little tidbit that we got in the minutes about it possibly being appropriate to start discussing tapering at the upcoming meetings is not something that you've really heard anyone on the committee express publicly other than uh, Dallas Fed President Rob Kaplan, who is, you know, kind of uh, becoming the hawkish wing of the committee at the moment. And so, you know, this continues to be the message. It's been reinforced yeah. by recent data, and it, it kind of keeps things in that, um, in that space. Something else Bostic said was that things are going to be looking cloudy probably until September. So what are we all supposed to do for the next four months? Well, I think we're supposed to, you know, just have fun and enjoy these next couple inflation and employment reports. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs in the data, like Bostic said. And it's going to be interesting to see how this progresses month to month. You know, there's all these big narratives in the economy that we're all kind of wrestling with right now, whether it's, uh, you know, supply shortages, bottlenecks, um, you know, the reopening of the economy. Um, and so there's going to be a lot of moving parts, and it's going to be very interesting to parse all these data points. And, um, you know, the bottom line is the Fed is uh, not, um, you know, kind of close to any sort of action. So it does give us some time and space to kind of analyze the data and, and see how things play out here over the summer. Yeah.